And Barack Obama also turning the conversation toward economic help for the middle class. Yesterday, he rolled out a new plan to help thousands of small businesses. But will it work? That's the big question. CNN's Chris Lawrence gets answers from business owners and experts for us now. John Karen, some say that Senator Obama's plan could help rescue their business. Others call it nothing more than a short-term fix. He's a this small business owner would normally be opposed to Barack Obama's plan. Because I'm not a big government guy. I don't like government involved at all in business. But Rob Loringer needs credit, and banks have stopped lending. Making, uh... What high-tech plastics is building now, it won't get paid for until next spring. Bank loans help bridge that gap in cash flow. Under Obama's new plan, the Small Business Administration would guarantee more loans that banks make to small businesses. And it says to the banks, it's not going to be as risky, therefore I can give you a little more. And sometimes that incremental amount is all you need to get over the top. Obama's plan would also expand the government's disaster loan program, which bypasses banks altogether and offers lower interest rates over longer terms. I think he's trying to reinvent the wheel. Lloyd Chapman is head of the nonpartisan American Small Business League. He says Obama's new plan ignores a series of federal investigations that found the government guilty of giving billions of dollars in small business contracts to huge Fortune 500 companies. If he would reaffirm his commitment to stop the flow of government small business contracts to corporate giants, as he said, that would have a much bigger impact on the middle class economy than, than anything he's proposed so far. At High Tech Plastics, a few dozen workers fill orders for the military and other contractors. But if nothing changes in the next two months, some of them may be laid off by Christmas. I don't want to do that, but I'm just saying that, you know, if you can't, if you don't have cash, you gotta, you gotta still make a payroll. So what's the price tag? Senator Obama's team says four billion dollars would go to fund those disaster loans. Another one billion for the guarantee programs. John, Karen. Up close and personal. How are you?